Welcome to this video lecture series on antenna and wave propagation. In this video lecture, we will have the winding session on microstrip antenna. So, we have already discussed various things about microstrip antenna. Now, we will discuss why it was so important. So, we will see various advantages, disadvantages, how we can overcome these disadvantages and then at last we will see various applications of microstrip antenna. So let's begin with the advantages of microstrip antenna. So the first advantage of microstrip antenna is that it is of light weight, it is small size or small volume or it can be easily manufactured. So the first advantage is the really important advantage. So I hope you know that in this world the light weight and small volume or small size is a qualifying criteria for most of our applications. So this is really important criteria and because of this criteria, this antenna is really important. So the second advantage of microstrip antenna is that its fabrication process is really simpler. So its fabrication is really simpler with low fabrication cost when it is mass produced. So when it is produced in large quantities, its fabrication cost would also be less. So size and cost, both criteria are satisfied because of this. This antenna becomes a very important antenna and most of our applications, most of the applications which are surrounding us revolve around this antenna only. So the third advantage is that it provides linear and circular polarization both. So it can be used to give me linear polarization and as well as circular polarization. So now next come to the next advantage. Next advantage is that it is capable of dual or triple frequency operations. So we can use it at various frequencies and we don't need to change the structure of the antenna. So from the same hardware I can operate dual or triple frequencies. So the next advantage is that it is mechanically robust when it is mounted on the right substrate. So, when I mount it on the right substrate, it becomes mechanically robust which is also a very good quality of this antenna. So, the next advantage is that it has very less thickness. So, the antenna is very thin and it can be used in wide range of application because of this quality as well. So, now the next quality is that feed line and matching network can be easily implemented using antenna surface. So, now in my previous video, I gave you the various feed methods of microstrip antenna and I hope you can understand that feed methods are easily implementable and we can easily make them implemented on the surface. So now coming to the disadvantages. Now we have studied various advantages. Now we will come to the disadvantages. So we have various disadvantages as well. So the first disadvantage is that it has narrow bandwidth. Its bandwidth is very narrow. So this is the major disadvantage of this antenna. It can't be used for wide range of frequencies. And when we change our frequency, the properties of the antenna would change. What is considered as a bandwidth? On a particular range of frequencies, my various properties of antenna remains constant. But if I change the bandwidth, if I change the frequency, my properties of antenna would change. So now this particular range of frequency is very limited. So I cannot use it for a large range of frequency. It is having a narrow bandwidth. So the next disadvantage is that it has low power holding capacity. It can't hold more power. So now next disadvantage is that it has limitation on gain. The maximum gain we can achieve through this antenna is 30 decibel. We cannot achieve more gain through this antenna. So now next disadvantage is that it has poor isolation between radiating surface and feed line. Because of this reflection would happen and the waves would come back towards the feed line itself. Now the next disadvantage is the excitation of surface waves. I have various surface waves present on the dielectric substrate as well. This is the disadvantage and it limits my functioning of the antenna. So the next disadvantage is that it has poor efficiency. So now 
we'll see the other disadvantages. So the other disadvantage is that it requires good quality substrates which are expensive. So now which makes the whole antenna structure to be very expensive. So now next disadvantage is that the polarization purity is difficult which means linear and circular polarized waves intermix and I don't get a single polarized wave. I'll get somewhat intermixed polarization waves. If I want linearly polarized wave, I'll get circularly polarized wave in between and vice versa. Now the next disadvantage is that it has large size when the frequency of operation is less. So at low frequencies, it has large size. So now next disadvantage is that it is sensitive to the environmental factors like temperature and humidity. So when I increase the temperature or I increase the humidity, I'll get some discontinuity in the working of my antenna. Now we'll see how we can overcome these limitations and how we can use this antenna in various range of applications. So first we can use thick substrate. The thick substrate is used to overcome the surface waves and it also helps me to provide the wider bandwidth. So narrow bandwidth problem is eliminated using thicker substrate but we cannot use a very thick substrate because of size constraints. So we have to limit our thickness up to certain limit. So we have already discussed how much we can do this and you can refer my previous video for this. So the second thing is cutting the slots in metallic patch. So if I cut the slots, if I have various slots in the metallic patch, it will help me overcoming the gain and directivity problem. So using this technique, I can overcome various other disadvantages. So next technique is using aperture coupled slag patch antenna. So I talked about aperture coupled antenna feeding also so you can refer my previous video to see the aperture coupled stacked patch antenna so you can refer that video and you can see how we can do this and how we can make my antenna more efficient using this technique so the next technique is introducing parasitic patches either on the same layer or on the top of main patch. So if I have main patch which is getting excited so I can have another parasitic element also which can be placed either on the same layer. Parasitic means which is not fed with the feed line. So it is not excited it is just placed there. So it is placed either on the same layer or on the top of the patch. So if I have this patch I can place another patch on the top of it or in the vicinity of it. So this will help me overcoming some other disadvantages as well. So now coming to the most important part which is application. So this is why I was telling that this antenna is really important. So we have various range of applications of this antenna. So first application is it is used in pagers and mobile phones. So you are having a micro strip antenna in your hand as well. So now next application is radar. I hope you know that radar is radio detection and ranging. So in radar, it is used to detect some object. So radar is used to detect the object, to detect the speed of the object and radar is really important thing. So it is used in radars also. It is used in satellite communication. If I, if I want to communicate through satellite, so it is used in that also. We will discuss about satellite communication in wave propagation. It is used in radio. Altimeter is used to measure the height and it is used in that altimeter. So it is next thing it is used in telemetry in missiles. So we have various missiles developed by our government organization and non-government companies as well and it is used in those missiles as well. So it is used as a feed element in complex antennas as well. Next thing it is used in satellite navigation. I hope you know that the navigation is done with the help of satellites. We are getting signals from the satellite and with the help of those signals we are detecting our location and the location of other things. So it is used in that satellite navigation. Next thing it is used in biomedical radiations. So biomedical radiations are used for various biomedical purposes like treatment of many diseases. So I'll conclude this session here. I am done with microstrip antenna 
and in next sessions i'll work upon various other antennas i hope you like this video like this video subscribe this channel and stay tuned for the further videos thank you